Manic destruction is stupid. I mean that in the best possible way. I know it sounds like an insult, but manic destruction is stupid and I love it. Take manic minor, throw in some wobbly physics, give Willy a grenade, and then let chaos ensue. <laughs> Smith, who manages to share his exceptionally uncommon surname with that of Matthew Smith, the author of the original Manic Minor, has taken the slow, steady, clockwork pace of the original game and gone, you know what? Let's destroy everything! Take the basic layout of Manic Miner's levels, perhaps with some tweaks here and there to accommodate, and then give the player some hand grenades to allow them to just go bananas and carefully detonate their way to victory. It shouldn't work, all things being told. It is the polar opposite of what Manic Miner does. You can complete a level of Manic Miner blindfolded. Literally, I've done it. But I didn't do it literally because I didn't have a blindfold. But I've literally done it. Manic Destruction would require unfathomable levels of luck to complete with a blindfold because the very structure of the game is literally and figuratively being shattered by tiny explosions. Literally. What we have here is therefore an accompaniment to Manic Miner. It's a cure-all. It's a delicious pill to swallow after you've got so annoyed with your terrible timing in the original game that you can switch over to this and throw timing to the wind. Just blow everything up. Ride a wave of debris to the exit and call it a day. It sounds like it'd all be down to luck, and in some cases it can be, but there's also some methodology here if you can stop yourself from firing off a grenade every two seconds. This recreation of the famous Kong stage, for instance, and my genius solution to hitting that switch, is what I like to call big brain time. He's far and away the most intelligent man I've ever met. I'm the most intelligent man here, and I intend to keep us alive. And he's so clever. It was also completely luck, because I hadn't actually thought any of this through. But if I hadn't admitted that, you'd probably think I was incredibly clever, so I might just cut this bit out. So far, the game is still in development, with just five levels to its name, but even at this stage, you'll get the gist, and you'll be looking for more. There's currently no progress in terms of pushing from one level to another, it's all just single levels that you choose to conquer, and I hope that's complemented by trying to go through the entire set in much the same way you would do with the original when the game is finally completed. But you know what? It's a pay-what-you-like bonanza at this stage. You can choose how much of your ill-gotten gains you put toward it, and I'm more than happy with how things are turning out so far. Fingers crossed the final release will include a nuclear device so I can completely level the solar power generator and never have it darken my door again.